Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks, as always, for tuning in to P-Dub's Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it when you hang out upstairs with us. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking game room decor. That's right. Holidays are fast approaching, and a lot of us love decorating our arcades and game rooms for the holiday seasons. And sure enough, Tulsa Arcades has got a cute little product for you for your Arcade 1-Up collection that might just pop in your game room. Now, I will be giving away one of these for free to a lucky viewer. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter to win this free holiday giveaway, a free holiday light-up riser of your own. Holiday light-up risers are a thing that Tulsa Arcades has been doing for the last couple of years for Arcade 1-Up. They've been a hit. A lot of people buy them. A lot of people use them. They're a lot of fun. They're kind of different and all that kinds of stuff. Now, when it comes to the Lit Riser, this is something that's kind of goofy, kind of cheesy, but hey, it's kind of adorable at the same time. JC sent me a couple, he sent me one to keep, and he also sent me over at Tulsa Arcades, he sent me one to give away to a viewer, so I'm pumped about that. But taking a look here, now the Holiday Riser, as you can tell by its design and everything, it looks great. It's got a great print, it's got real red tea molding, and of course, it's just the front panel. That's all it is. And of course, you have the plexi, uh, the, the translucent plexi and all that, so you can light it up from behind. I'm going to show you how to do all that right now. So what's interesting is, obviously, you're going to take your Arcade 1-Up riser. You're going to go ahead and you're going to just simply unscrew the four screws and remove your riser panel. Once your riser panel is removed, it's a simple process of cleaning that inside panel, that R, I think it's an RPRO panel, I can't remember what it is arcade one up clean that off because if you're going to use something like adhesive light strips led strips you do have to supply your own strips but guys light strips are like three bucks at walmart go grab some you can do light strips or there's various other lights you can buy to, to mount on this little wall here and uh include that with your arcade and then sure enough once you get that done you're going to go ahead and you're going to remove the wooden dowels because the uh pr the uh tulsa arcades riser panel doesn't have pre-drilled holes for those wooden doll dolls dowels pop those dowels out go ahead and uh, put your four screws in that came with your original arcade one up front riser panel and you'll notice here that when you take a look at it from the top you'll notice you do have a gap right there's a gap so if you turn it on you might get some light bleed but Tulsa arcades has you covered if you've uh, ever gotten one of these products in the past you know what it's all about you're just gonna take this little panel and you're, that they supply you, as well as two little wood screws that they supply you that'll drill right... You don't even need a drill. You just use a regular screwdriver and some elbow grease. Screw that in, and what do you know? Boom! All the light is blocked. You're not going to get any kind of light bleed. After you get that set up, go ahead and get your thing plugged in, and now it's time to fire it up. Now, what's interesting is I had this riser. These risers are heavy. I had it on a table, so I got a little bit of light bleed on the bottom, but that's because the riser is so heavy... It was bending my table down in the middle. Oh man, I should have just filmed it on the floor, but I, you know, I wanted to stand up and film it. Um, but it was bending it down. You see a little light bleed, but obviously if this is on your game room floor, or if it's on your carpet, you're not going to see that. So pay no attention to that. Obviously I went with the, the, these light strips that have a remote control so I could change the lights any way I want. Red, yellow, orange. I mean, solid orange looks the best in my opinion when you take a look at the flashing pictures. Um, but then, of course, you know, you can set it up for different, like, hey, I want it to, you know, change, go through, like, every color, or just have it on a separate color, etc. Whenever you're done, boop, pop it off right there. Now, these risers are on the Tulsa Arcades website. Make sure you guys check it out. I'll have links to the direct product in the video description below, as well as, guys, they're going to have a big Black Friday sale coming very soon. Now, you guys want to get your orders in per Tulsa Arcades, although they sent this to me uh, like last week, but I was out traveling. Um, if you guys are interested in the holiday risers, you gotta get your orders in by November 15th in order to get in that first batch that's guaranteed to be delivered before the holidays. If you place your orders after the 15th, there's a chance the next batch might not get there before the holidays, but definitely stay in touch with JC and the team over at Tulsa Arcade so you can keep the status of your orders. Holiday risers will be sold for about $60. Also, guys, make sure you check out their Black Friday kickoff sale will begin on November 20th. So make sure you guys head over to Tulsa Arcade's website on November 20th. If you're into modding your arcade one-ups and things like that, they might have some good deals for you. Stay tuned for more information on those. Now, how can you win one of these holiday risers? I have two of them. Well, it's real simple, guys. 
real simple process. Do me a favor, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up. That's it, give the video a thumbs up. Also, be a subscriber, so you gotta click that subscribe button, and also, leave a comment. That's the most important thing. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of these holiday risers, or any comment, how you're gonna decorate your game rooms. I don't care, just leave us a comment below. And tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a live stream. We're gonna be doing another Blast from the Past I Hate Monday show tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll use a random YouTube comment picker and we'll pick the winner tomorrow live together. So fingers crossed for all of you. Good luck, best wishes. Once we get the winner uh, picked, I will do my absolute best to ship this thing out right away. That way you guys have it in plenty of time for the holiday season, because I have I have it here. Um, all right, guys, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to, you know, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below to be eligible to win as well as to support the channel. If you enjoyed the video especially, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, happy holidays, and thank you for subscribing.